welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for returning back here to watch my videos i really appreciate you much god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you will always enjoy every content that i upload so dear beautiful friends i've been getting a lot of questions from some of my subscribers asking me bella i am in my 40s or i am in my 50s can i find love on online dating apps is it not that i am too old for that i am also a single mom maybe of two or one kid <laughs> so this to me seems like maybe online dating apps is only for young ladies <laughs> but when i get such kind of questions i always respond to you guys and tell you it is very possible but when i respond to you i get a feeling that maybe you feel like bella is trying to give us hope encourage us not to give up but it is something that is not possible <laughs> yes guys so that is why i am here to share with you today's story and how this whole story started there is this beautiful sister of ours is a black lady from jamaica she is a youtuber too <laughs> so one day i called her and i wanted to know some things you know as content creators we help each other so as i was talking to her she told me bella do you know i found my husband on online dating apps i was like no way <laughs> she said yes i found my husband on online dating apps so after getting all your questions after encouraging you a lot i said i have to talk to my sister so that she can share her love story on how she found love on online dating apps she's also a single mom and found love in her 40s guys this video is going to help you a lot no matter what age you are <laughs> but most especially ladies in their 40s and 50s <laughs> yeah this video will lift you up will keep you moving it will inspire you a lot not only that guys i'm going to be giving you a lot of tips today it is tips after tips after tips <laughs> yeah because a man who married our sister is so good so i've got a lot of qualities of a real man a serious man so if you didn't know what are the qualities a serious man can have watch this story till the end guys <laughs> yes also if you want to know how did it work what helped her what kind of a dating app they met on i'm going to be sharing all that in this video guys so please stick here watch this video till the end because it is going to be a game changer guys <laughs> to you who are on online dating apps searching for the right man and without wasting much of your time let us start our story time <laughs> So dear beautiful friends, our today's story will be about our beautiful black Jamaican lady. Her name is Michebu. She is a content creator, like I said. Her YouTube channel name is Michebu, but she has got another channel which goes by the name of Michelin Doll. I'm going to be sharing her YouTube channels here so that you can go and support our sister. She's such a lovely lady, guys, a very lovely lady. And that is why she accepted to share her love story with us. So dear friends, I totally understand that if you are on online dating app searching for love searching for the right one you have got your own reasons to why you decided to join that dating app something pushed you right <laughs> maybe some disappointments of the past relationships yeah so that is why we should not do what pushed michi to join online dating apps as i've told you she is a single mother and she was in her 40s when she joined online dating dating apps so michi told me she was in a relationship in the past that is why she has got 
her son but that relationship would not work she decided to leave that jamaican man so she was single for a while and one day she was going through her emails came across this email from the dating app i'm going to be sharing with you what kind of a dating app as we go because <laughs> it is the same app where she found tony as she saw that email she really got curious opened it and immediately joined because she really wanted to date a white man here we go again guys we shouldn't judge anyone for choosing whom to love whom to marry whom to date if someone chooses to date a black man let her be if she chooses to date a white man let her be if she chooses to date a yellow man let her be so she really wanted to date a white man after all the disappointments she went through in her past relationship so after registering she started chatting with different men from all over the world and she continued chatting chatting but nothing good came by till eight months passed and on her eight months that is when she got a message from tony <laughs> and she tells me it was her son who first saw that email <laughs> the son was like mom come see there is someone who wrote to you <laughs> and then she read the message from there they started chatting so she tells me they chatted for two days and after two days they were ready to exchange phone numbers start chatting on whatsapp after they know that they were really attracted to each other they like each other that is why they decided to exchange phone numbers what do we learn from this guys i've told you today's video is going to be tips after tips don't exchange your phone numbers immediately a guy does not know you he writes you just one message but in that one message he tells you let's exchange phone numbers don't give him your phone numbers get to chat with a guy and if you vibe if you like each other if you think that you can create something you know serious then exchange your phone numbers and that is what michi and tony did they exchanged phone numbers and started talking they could talk every day michi tells me that or tells us that it did not pass even a single day that she did not hear from tony they could communicate every day we have another tip guys <laughs> if you are in a relationship with a guy you have exchanged phone numbers already and then this guy communicates with you twice a week then you don't mean anything to that guy trust me you are not important and that is why he's not looking for you if you see such kind of a man you know that he is not interested because if a guy is interested in you he will keep on communicating with you he will send you messages every day and he will try his best to talk to you on camera because it's very very important guys you can't just be chatting with someone without seeing them whom you are dealing with who are you chatting with guys let's remember this is internet dating we should be very careful so guys they kept on communicating every day getting to know each other and michi tells us that as they were getting to know each other one day tony did like a questionnaire <laughs> He wanted to know who Michi is really so started asking Michi about her family started asking her about her job and guys I want you all to know that Michi was a police officer yes such a strong lady <laughs> I'm so proud of you sis <laughs> yes guys and i'll share some of her photos here when she was at work in jamaica as a police officer so as in talking to tony told tony i am a police officer my mom is a police officer my stepdad is a police officer and continued asking michebu some more questions she could answer <laughs> another tip guys if a guy is asking you a lot of questions wanting to know you more you know that the guy is serious but those guys who don't ask a lot of questions they're just there they start telling you they love you how can you love someone that you don't know <laughs> 
it doesn't make sense so when you see a guy asking you questions wanting to know you you know that he is a keeper don't get annoyed and be like he's asking a lot of questions no it's because he is serious so guys Michi responded and passed like two weeks they continued chatting but after two weeks Tony again came with the same questionnaire that he asked before <laughs> and he was like you told me your mom is a nurse <laughs> Michi got angry and was like are you mad I told you my mom is a police officer why do you say a nurse <laughs> But Tony did that intentionally, guys. He asked again the same questions to see if Michi lied to him. So Michi says, do not lie. Be honest. Stay clean. Because if you start lying, a man who is serious is going to find out. <laughs> Some ladies will tell you, I only have one uncle and he passed away. And then past a week, the same lady will tell you, I'm going to visit my uncle in the hospital this weekend. That means you're lying. You said your uncle passed away. <laughs> How comes he's still in the hospital? <laughs> so be clean, be honest. Don't lie to a man you are chatting to. This is very, very important, guys. And another thing that Tony did as they were still chatting, guys getting to know each other Tony decided to call where Michi said she works <laughs> and he was like I have a house in Jamaica there is a problem that has happened so I would like a police officer to go there and check but I want officer Michi Michi had just gone out with another police officer so he knew that yes Michi was working there he confirmed here we go again guys if you cannot confirm it do not believe it remember i told you in my last video and now we see the example yes michi said she works as a police officer but because tony is a serious man he has got those qualities of a serious man who is looking for something serious that will last forever that is why he wanted to confirm where Michi works. So my advice here, you are a genuine woman, you are serious, you are looking for something that will last forever on online dating apps, ask questions, confirm, try your best to find out the truth. The things this guy is telling you, I know some of you go to an extent of introducing your families to these men you're chatting online but when you ask them they'll tell you no i cannot introduce you now to my family my family doesn't know about you or he doesn't even want to introduce you to his friends he tells you this is private you can't see this or you can't know that i am so reserved if a guy loves you he will never be reserved because he want to come out clean too yes guys so don't be deceived don't keep on wasting your time on online dating apps with these guys that tell you i am reserved you shouldn't know this or my family doesn't know about you and you're chatting almost a year what are you still doing in that relationship guys a real relationship will be straight no corners because if someone starts telling you this is private, it means that they are putting some barrier, they are putting some boundaries, which is not good. You should know who this guy is, so make sure you confirm. Because Michi Butu did her part to confirm if Tony was a real guy. So we learn this. And take some water. <laughs> So guys, they kept on chatting and also Michi made sure that she confirms what Tony told her because <laughs> also Tony introduced her to his sister and to his daughter. This gave her some kind of assurance that Tony is a serious guy. This is what I just finished telling you. If a guy is serious, will be open it won't be a big deal to introduce you to his family so after chatting for five months guys because i know this is so important for you you want to know how long they were chatting before they met that is why i tell you the time <laughs> time frame <laughs> after five months of chatting on the phone tony was ready to go meet michi for the first time in jamaica 
Tony is from Australia, so he is an Australian man. <laughs> so after talking to Michi and tell her his intentions to go to Jamaica and meet her for the first time, he sent her a thousand dollars for his accommodation, his hotel, where he'll be staying when he goes to Jamaica. Tony trusted Michi. He had gained trust and he had that feeling that Michi is a honest lady because remember he confirmed everything that Michi told him. <laughs> this also happened with Vicky. If you remember Vicky's story, the boyfriend sent money to her for his accommodation. This shows a lot of trust. It means that the guy trusts you. So after sending Michi that a thousand dollars, Michi tells us that she did not spend the whole money. The hotel only costed $250 and the remaining one, when Tony went, she returned the money to him and told Michi that you are a honest lady because if it was another lady, she could have just said, I spent the whole of it. <laughs> paying for the hotel so guys be honest be honest because if you are honest with a man a real man will know maybe if you're dating a guy that is not a real man a guy who isn't serious but a serious guy if you do something like that he will know that he has got a wife yes guys <laughs> So guys, Tony went to Jamaica to meet Michi and they were so happy to see each other. You know, when you're chatting with someone, we grow that love, we grow that affection, we attach ourselves to them. So meeting makes you really, really happy. And if you are on online dating apps searching guys, if you haven't met, your relationship isn't real yet. It becomes real, it becomes a reality when you meet. That is why it is very important for you guys to meet. I told you maximum three months. You should know where your relationship is heading. You should know if this guy is ready to meet you. How are you going to meet and when? Don't chat with a guy for a year. Don't chat with a guy for two years without knowing when you guys are going to meet. You see, Michi was chatting with Tony and within five months, guys, they met. And some of the quality of a serious man is something like that. Someone who wants to see you physically, not chatting with you always. Because if someone is chatting with you, he might be just looking for someone to chat with and nothing more, not meeting. So guys, please shine your eyes. <laughs> so guys, after meeting in person, Michi had to take Tony to the hotel because she's the one who booked and Tony was in Jamaica for the first time yes so they went to the hotel and I know what you're thinking <laughs> I know guys I know guys you want to know things in details <laughs> I asked this question to Michi guys she's my sister <laughs> I told her don't kill me for asking you this <laughs> The goodies, did you give your goodies for the first time? <laughs> Even my mother asked me, did you give this man your goodies? <laughs> and she told her mom, mom, don't ask me such kind of a question. <laughs> It went really well. She took Tony to introduce him to her family, to the son. Everyone was very happy and they welcomed Tony very, very good. So guys, Tony stayed in Jamaica for a month with Michi. They really enjoyed each other's company. And after that one month, Tony returned to Australia and started planning to invite Michi immediately. We have another tip here, guys. If a guy comes in your country to meet you, he should invite you too in his country so that you can see his real life and confirm, you know, physically see these things, see his character. You know, there is something that I've been advising ladies. If a guy comes to visit you, sometimes, you know, when you are in a new environment, we tend to pretend, you know? 
<laughs> that first time we tend really to pretend so if this guy is going to come in your country of course he won't be himself completely some of his character he will be able to hide them and sometimes it's not that the guy is bad but it's like a defense mechanism <laughs> that they have so you want to be able to know who this guy really is by just meeting him in africa and then you believe him he's your boyfriend he's your fiance already so when you meet in africa make sure you talk of when the guy is inviting you if he goes back to his country and start telling you i don't know when i'm going to invite you or i'm going to invite you after one year leave that relationship don't waste your time guys don't so guys tony invited michi to australia and michi went <laughs> when she arrived she met tony's family she was so so happy to see tony's family including his daughter everyone was happy to <laughs> to see michi you know when you have a boyfriend and your boyfriend always talks about you know <laughs> the girlfriend i've experienced to this with my brothers when they used to date you know their girlfriends they tell you their names and when you meet them you already know their names they greeted her and they were like you're michi because they have heard of michi when a man loves you <laughs> <laughs> he will tell his family about you and they will know your name it won't be a secret <laughs> yeah so it was a very good moment for michi to be with tony's family to be with tony and because tony was a widower living alone we know men guys <laughs> yes they can be clean yes they can do things for themselves around the house but a woman in the house changes everything guys <laughs> so michi had to you know fix everything around the house make it look more cuter and she also told me she cooked <laughs> so when you are invited by your boyfriend that you have been chatting to on online dating apps don't go stay like this like you are on a vacation no show your skills girl <laughs> it will help you add some points <laughs> i know some of you will be like no i can't act like a wife before him marrying me <laughs> no guys we are all looking for those points add some points so that you can win this man's heart <laughs> play your cards very well <laughs> So she stayed in Australia for three weeks and it was time for her to return back to Jamaica. Guess what Tony did? <laughs> this guy is so good. Michi, you are blessed <laughs> to have such kind of a man. Yes, I know in marriage happens misunderstanding and all that. It's normal. We are human beings. But you're so lucky to have Tony as your husband. I tell you, my sister. <laughs> so Tony accompanied Michi halfway on the day of returning to Jamaica. <laughs> You know when you have to connect the planes so he went with her halfway what did we learn from these guys this was a very good good gesture that tony did accompanying her halfway this means i love you i want to stay with you i don't want you to go <laughs> you know <laughs> the time that we have spent together i enjoyed note that you're dating a guy and it is time for you to return to your country you return and even a guy doesn't even call you to ask you did you arrive safe <laughs> like he just wanted you to go but tony akam and michi halfway that was so good so she returned to jamaica continued with her work they kept on communicating every day guys every day did not pass a day that tony did not communicate with michi and that is how you keep your relationship strong and stronger guys communication is so so important in a relationship and when you are in a long distance relationship that is how you make your relationship even more stronger by communicating don't take any excuses from a guy that he is not communicating to you because he's so busy no don't take that my dear beautiful ladies so after four months michi returning to jamaica tony went again to jamaica to meet michi and it was time for proposal 
<laughs> yes guys he proposed and after proposing also gifted michi a house a beach house <laughs> michi tells us that she had a house already but it wasn't on the beach so she decided to rent that house of hers and transferred to the house tony bought for her in her names oh my god this is great love i'm telling you guys <laughs> and sometimes when you go through a lot you hear these stories you're like i don't think such men exist but they still exist guys they still exist she was very happy about her engagement and getting a house as a gift guys <laughs> yeah so they stayed together in jamaica for one year sometimes she could go to the court court hearings and tony could accompany her be with her another tip guys if a man loves you will support you in everything that you do in your work you used to go to the court with michi his fiance <laughs> so friends all this time that tony was in jamaica with michi for that one year tony never told michi why he was there <laughs> and the good thing is that the job that tony was doing could allow him to stay in jamaica for that one year but later on he came to tell michi that he wanted to see if they are compatible when they live together what will happen you know is it going to work or not i'm telling you tony was so so careful in this relationship and we should too be careful when we are chatting with these guys when we start dating these guys we shouldn't just let ourselves free believe in someone without confirming without seeing if things are going to work but michi too told me that i did not want to rush things we see michi was in her 40s but she was not desperate guys she wasn't no matter you are in your 40s no matter you are in your 50s don't rush a relationship because you think you are very old you should get married very fast and ignore the red flags no need guys even last time i was chatting with my friend she was telling me bella better stay single than stay in a relationship with a guy that will only waste my time better stay single so your age shouldn't push you to rush things just you know take your time when you are convinced when you have confirmed everything that you think the guy is the right one get married sis <laughs> so after that one year tony staying with michi decided to go back to australia and stayed in australia for five months and after five months he returned again to jamaica and it was time for the wedding <laughs> so they did their wedding in jamaica it really went very very well michi was so so happy guys it was the best wedding so after the wedding they went for the honeymoon and when the honeymoon was over tony returned to australia prepared everything and it was time for michi to go to australia join tony with her son <laughs> yes guys and that is how it went michi went joined her husband and they've been married for 11 years now yes guys happily married guys <laughs> sometimes when i talk to michi on the phone i hear her husband too talking and we always laugh guys they are such a lovely couple a happy family guys so we see guys a good man will always be a good man after 11 years tony is still a good man is still a good husband to our sister <laughs> yeah so as michi was telling me the story i asked her how long did it take for you guys to get married she told me it took them two years but within those two years guys you should note this note that the relationship was stagnant it wasn't stagnant these people used to meet these people used to stay together these people kept on planning things were moving forward so if you are dating a guy and he's telling you you should be in a relationship for two years 
it shouldn't be a relationship which is stagnant guys you are in a relationship with a guy but there are some things that he is keeping you in the dark you shouldn't know these things it's not good at all because that is a wastage of time yes even if it is taking long for you to get married at least things should be moving and this guy should be communicating with you every day every day as a normal couple so dear ladies you know me already when i get a story i want that advice from someone who succeeded on online dating apps what is she advising other ladies that are on online dating apps searching for love what should they do so that they can succeed too advice number one that michi gave to you guys who are on online dating apps searching for love searching for the right one is that nothing beats prayers always pray to god you have found a guy on online dating apps you think he is serious keep him in your prayers pray for your health pray for that man because nothing beats prayers and i agree with sister michi prayers are very very important in our lives even if you're not on online dating apps searching but remember god in everything that you are doing put god in every move that you do guys and you will see the goodness of the lord advice number two that michi gave to you guys is to take care of yourself this goes to all ladies but also if you are in your 40s in your 50s please don't look at your age no guys don't look at your age but take care of yourself dress well she also told me you can not just go on a video call talk with a guy you met online looking like you know <laughs> <laughs> your hair looking like crazy you might chase a guy away put yourself together take care of yourself love yourself eat healthy do some workouts you know keep yourself fit but stop thinking of the age because you can find love at any age age is not a problem and i agree i've been telling you yes age isn't a problem guys you can find love at any age i've been here in italy i see programs of ladies searching for love online even ladies in their 70s they still hope to find love and you who is 40 you who is 30 you who is 20 you who is 50 you are there saying that you can't find love because you are old no don't make yourself look old i know some of you have been coming in my dm guys i can also help you on how to dress give you the tips on how to dress according to your body no woman is ugly guys if you dress your body accordingly you will always look good if you choose the right colors you will always look good i've been telling you that colors are powerful <laughs> yes so you will never look old because you choose the right colors you choose outfits that fits you well don't tell me i don't have money to buy clothes if you go to the second hand clothes you can find very very beautiful clothes at an affordable price i'm telling you when i was in africa i used not to buy ready-made clothes i could go to mr price maybe after five months in a year if you're in africa you know mr price store yeah <laughs> i used to buy my clothes in the second hand market and they used to fit me very well it is all about how the outfit fits you guys the price does not matter trust me so go to the second hand market look for outfits that goes with your body type dress it well and you'll always look very very beautiful she also added that you might be someone who doesn't like applying lots of makeup you go simple apply a little bit of makeup 
because it changes something guys <laughs> look good then talk on camera with these guys looking good she also said you should smell good <laughs> this reminds me there is a friend of mine i've been helping on online dating apps and one day she was going to meet someone that they met online so i was busy advising her to smell good or selling her smell like heaven and what happened guys it turned out that that guy was just a scammer she even got scammed guys yeah i don't know how it happened i was chatting with her all the time she never told me that there was money involved but in the end she was like i don't know what came over me i forgot to tell you there was money involved and just like that guys she got scammed so a tip from these two <laughs> leave alone the smelling good if you're chatting with a guy online you must see him like i said on a video call and when you're chatting with a guy he brings the third person into that thing or talks of money you know that i'm going to be scammed block that person immediately guys advice number three from sister michi when you're chatting with a guy and then he starts talking of the goodies wanting to see your boobs <laughs> what your mama gave you you should block that man immediately because he is not serious she tells us that during all that time she was chatting to tony he never talked of the nudes he never talked of you know the goodies nothing like that guys so be very clever when a guy asks you something like that just block that guy advice number four from our sister michibu is that when you're chatting with a guy be honest be you don't pretend he will know that you are a woman to marry don't lie and when you go on online dating apps make sure you are ready to be in a relationship when you start chatting with this guy that is serious please make sure that you keep it consistently just like the way he's doing not a guy is calling you you are like i'm at the party not the guy is calling you you are not available that means that you are not ready to be in that relationship and it will not work you will keep on searching and searching and searching these are sister mishi's boo words <laughs> my advice to you ladies that i got from this story when i was talking to michi i asked her who paid for the tickets when you went to visit michi told me it was tony tony paid for the round ticket and all the time he was coming to jamaica he used to spend four thousand dollars plus michi visited plus the last trip that they went with the son all the costs and he also bought her a house what do we learn from these guys if a guy loves you he won't feel pain spending on you if you see you're dating a guy and he feels pain spending on you or he wants to invite you but tells you to pay for yourself you know that that man is not a good man and he is not in love because when you are in love and you are capable of giving you are going to give and this reminds me guys michi said don't ask men money because tony was online and before he came across ladies who asked him money so dating michi and michi wasn't asking money from him he was like this is the right woman because when you start mixing money with love that is when a guy is going to get confused she says that let the man send you money without being asked dear beautiful ladies back to my point guys if a guy feels pain to spend on you if you're chatting with a guy and he's telling you that he cannot pay for your ticket to go meet him then you know that that relationship won't go anywhere better end it before it's too late so friends what kind of a dating app did michi meet tony they met on afro introduction guys the same same app that i have been telling you that try it don't give up don't lose hope when it's god's time you will find the one just like our sister michebu and tony <laughs> yes guys so that was our today's love story of online dating i really hope you enjoyed it you loved it 
If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that will enjoy this video and learn something. Watch my other videos too, they are super good. Comment below what you think about this video. Please guys, don't forget to go and check Michi's channels, Michibu and Michelin Doll. You will enjoy her content. There is a lot of things to learn from her channels. Subscribe please. If you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Until next time guys, I love you so much. From the bottom of my heart, <laughs> you're always here. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao. Mwah. Come and say hello. What have you put on your mouth, Sophie? Oh my God. Guys, let me go back to parenting. <laughs> parenting. 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 Say hi.